Hello everyone. This video would focus on graphing quadratic equation in vertex form and this is the first part. In this part, our value of a is positive 1 and negative 1. Before we go further, please feel free to check out the description box below for the link of the other series of topics related to graphing quadratic equation in vertex form. Before we jump into this example right here, let's have a review on the basics of quadratic equation in vertex form. We remember that the vertex form or the graphing form of a parabola that opens up or down is given in an equation y equals a quantity x minus h squared plus k. Now let's look at the parameters a, h, and k in this equation. We remember that if the value of a is positive, the graph opens upward. On the other hand, if the value of A is 0, the graph becomes a horizontal line. If the value of A is negative, the graph opens downward. Moreover, the closer the value of A is to 0, the wider the parabola is. So please notice that when we change the value of A towards 0, the wider it is becomes until a point that the graph becomes a horizontal line. And this is true on the other side as well. The closer the value of a is to zero, the wider the parabola is. So again, if you notice, the parabola becomes wider and wider as we change the value of a towards zero until such a point that it becomes very wide and at zero it becomes a horizontal line. On the contrary, the farther the value of A is from zero, the narrower the graph becomes. And that is true on the other side as well. The farther the value of A is from zero, the narrower the parabola becomes. Please remember that the coordinates h, k is the vertex of the parabola where the h moves the graph or translates the graph left or right while the k translates the graph up or down. Okay, going back to the problem right here, we are given y equals quantity x minus 3 squared plus 2. The first step that we have to do is to determine the vertex or the locator point. I'm going to go ahead and write that right here. This vertex or locator point is actually the hk. So these two values right here. So that would be, remember, we are going to switch the sign of this. That would be a positive 3. And we keep the sign of this. That would be a positive 2. So this is our locator point. The second step is to draw a table of values. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that table of values right here. Now, once we've drawn the table of values, we remember that this locator point shall be placed in the middle of this table of values. So we can go ahead and put this 3, 2, which is the locator point or the vertex down here. So that would be 3 and 2. The y is 2. Now, we are going to complete the table of values by putting more numbers to the right and to the left of this locator point. So I can go ahead and say that that would be after three would be four. Then we're going to have five. Then we go to the left. That would be two. So going down three, two and one. Our next step is to determine the value of y for these blanks that we have right here. So I go ahead and show the work to this um, piece of paper right here. So we're going to start with um, x is... Two. So I'm going to show the work so that we can solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and write that um, up here. x is 2. So we're going to plug this 2, which is the x, into this x right here and solve for y. So we're going to write the equation. So that would be y equals 
quantity. Again, our x will become the 2. So I put the 2 here. And then that would be, we copy the rest of them. That's minus 3 squared plus 2. So I plugged in the 2 into the x. And we're going to solve for y. So this comes out y equals 2 minus 3 is negative 1 squared plus 2. Negative 1 squared means negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. And then we have a plus 2. So we are left with y equals 3. So the value of y that we have here will be 3. Now we move on to the value of y when x is 4. So I'm going to go ahead and show that um, up here. So whenever x is equal to 4. So we do the same thing. We are going to write down the um, equation and we plug this 4 into the x. So that would be y equals quantity. Then that's minus 3 squared plus 2. Then again, our x was 4, so we plugged it in. So this comes out 4 minus 3 is positive 1. That's a, a squared plus 2. So 1 squared is just 1 plus 2 is y is 3. So I go ahead and write that um, down here that our y is 3 when x is 4. Now I'm going to show the rest of the values of y for 1 and 5 down here. Okay, so we have completed the table of values here. Now our task is to sketch the graph of this equation. So we have here this um, graph right here. So we're going to start with 3, 2, so positive 3, and then go up 2. So this is our vertex. And then the next uh, point will be on positive 2. So that's 1, 2, and up 3. So this is the next dot in the graph. And then we also have 1 that goes all the way to 6. So that's the next dot right there. Then we go back to 4. So 4 is right here. Then we go up 3. So this is the next dot. And then 5 goes with 6. So it's going to sit right here. And so this is the graph of this equation that we have right here. Now we go ahead and determine the domain and range for this graph. We can say that our domain for this graph would be all real numbers because it's going to extend all the way to infinity on the left side and all the way to infinity on the right side. So that would be all real numbers. Okay, the range for this graph Range means we determine the values of y that would be covered for this equation. So in this case right here, it starts on 2 going up. So we go ahead and say that the range would be y is greater than or equal to positive 2. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. The first step is to determine the vertex or the locator point. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up here. So our vertex or locator point is at negative 5, negative 1. Remember, we are supposed to switch and keep. We remember that this represents the H and this represents the K. And that's how I got the negative 5, which is we're supposed to switch and we're supposed to keep. That's how I got the negative 1. The second step is to create and complete the table of values. So I'm going to go ahead and create the table of values right here. Okay, now we remember that this vertex or locator point shall be placed in the middle of this table of values that we got here. So I'm going to go ahead and write negative 5 for x and then negative 1 for y. And then we're going to determine the rest of these blanks here. So if this is negative 5, I'm going to go ahead and say we put negative 4 and then negative 3 and then we go negative 6 and then negative 7. 
And so we're going to determine the values for the rest of these blanks here. So we're going to start with x is equal to negative 4. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up here, x equals negative 4. And so I am going to plug this negative 4 into the x here and solve for y. Okay, so what I did here was I plugged in the negative 4 into the x and I did the math. So negative 4 plus 5 is positive 1. Positive 1 squared is 1 and we get the negative in front of the parentheses. So that means we put the negative in front of the 1 and so that comes out negative 2. And I'm going to show the value for y whenever x is negative 6. So I'm going to show the work up here. Okay, so what I did here was I put in the negative 6 to the x and solve for y. So negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1 and it's squared. And then this is a minus 1. So negative squared is a positive 1 and there's a negative in front. And so this becomes negative 1 minus 1 and this is then negative 2. Now please remember this because most students would miss this. They are going to multiply this negative and negative and that makes it positive. Positive. Remember, we are going to do the exponent first. So we are going to square the negative one first before multiplying these two. You cannot multiply these two negatives together. You are going to square this negative one first. So negative one squared is positive one. And we got a negative in front of it. So that becomes negative one. And so the answer is negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead and write that negative 2 right here. And so we are going to determine the rest of the values when x is negative 3 and x is equals negative 7. So I have solved the value for x is negative 3 and x is negative 7. And so the third step is to sketch the graph. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch those um, points up here. So we're going to start with the locator point, which is on negative 5 and negative 1. So this is our um, vertex. Then the next point is negative 4 and then negative 2. So this is the next dot. And then negative 3, 1, 2, 3. And then all the way down to negative 5. And the other part here would be negative 6, negative 6, and negative 2. So this is the next dot. And negative 7 and negative 5. And this is the other dot right here. So we can go ahead and sketch the parabola. So this is the graph of this equation that we have right here. Now, we can remember that our domain for this would be all real numbers since the graph is going to extend infinitely towards the negative side of the x and towards the infinitely towards the positive side of the x. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up here. The range for this are the values of y that would be it's going down starting from negative 1. So we can go ahead and say that the range would be y is less than or equal to negative 1. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah! Good. Perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.